my favorite, favorite, favorite collection of electronics hacking prompts. The hacker box. Hmm, dual and nine pin headers. Might be a Raspberry Pi in here. Ah. You always need good quality jumpers, but are these that? Yeah, not bad actually. That's not a bad crimp on them. Hmm. Not to look at. Well, actually, it's not a gift for us. Man, I need these. These cables must have a lifetime of, like, I don't know, maybe three, four hundred insertions because you just go through them. I don't complain about those nearly as much as I complain about jumpers. But, oh, 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 what do we have here? Level shifter? Uh, no, LED array. Maybe a bar graph of some sort. Um, oh, a little TFT display. Yeah, these, I love these things. I'm, I haven't quite found the exact perfect kind of gizmo to put them in, but like I think it would look work really well as a user interface for a small um, interactive robot type thing, like a Tamaguchi. That is about the size of display that you can get like a you know a lot of expression on. But it's still small and compact. No charge. No charge. Find me in here. Then get coding. Huh. That's intriguing. Oh! It's a micro bit! <laughs> nice! I wanted to get myself one of these. I wanted to get myself one of these because they... they um, have a simple in interface. You can, you know, like clip alligator clips to them, and then make all kinds of um, uh, interfaces without having to worry about like a jumper board, which can be a pain in the butt. And yeah, so awesome, awesome, awesome. A micro bit, cool. I like that. I like that. And ESP8266. Uh, okay, add that to stock. Not that those aren't. I mean, yeah, these these are awesome for adding uh, Wi-Fi to stuff. And what is this? Uh, voltage regulator, it looks like, perhaps? V in, out ground, yeah. Voltage regulator, okay. We have to be shifting voltages somewhere, apparently. And USB in, yeah. VCCD, blah, blah, blah. Very good. Edge connector breakout board. Okay, okay, okay. And then a little bit of this. Yeah, you know what? I was gonna, I was gonna order one of these micro bits and then not have all the other stuff. Well, I actually, I do have all the other stuff, except for the bar graph, to um, to do some playing around with it. But this is a nicely curated box, I have to say, nicely curated box. So power supply, a little bit of breadboard. Um, you've got the edge connector, so you can get some pinouts from your micro bit. And uh, you've got some jumper wires of various varieties to connect, you know, like a speaker, so you can get sound out of this thing. And yeah, yeah. Uh, the jack's already wired, so you don't actually have to worry about getting a, a crimper to plug power into your board. So that's that's a bonus. It's a total bonus. And um Yeah, very nicely curated. I like it a lot. Uh voltage regulation. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um we'll have to take a look at the uh, the website to um check check out what the all the all of the things that the microbit can do. But I think it's got like a a coding UI that you can access over a smartphone. But, uh, yeah, some sort of drag-and-drop coding language, I think. But anyways, we will find out. Nice, nice box. Like it already. All right, so the BBC Microbit is a um, microcontroller that has motion detection as well as compass and Bluetooth. 
So I, I have to imagine that one of these guys are the compass and the accelerometers. But we could take a look at the um, individual chips and figure that out, but we'd have to do that underneath a microscope. So, no, nope, can't do that. Anyways, um, but the other thing that it, um, it does is um, has pinouts. So each of these all the way through here are up until the, the guard pin next to the three volts. So the, um, the bars on either side of the three volt and ground are also that pin. So three volt, three volt, three, ground, ground, ground. And then the rest are, are pinned out. So yeah, you can, you can access any of the pins of the microcontroller. I haven't figured out what kind of microcontroller is on there, but uh, yeah, microscope will help. Anyways, um, yeah, let's hook this guy up to the, um, to the interwebs and see what we got. Okay, when you power it up, it'll do a blinky light thing based on inputs from your your keypad. So, and I think that's Chase. Yeah, Chase the dot. Chase the dot. Oh, okay, so you can play a game. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. So yeah, don't know how that works. But anyways, yeah. That's what happens when you just um, start it up. And it's not reset. I think it is. Yeah. There we go. Fades up and down. And then... Oh, then it's party. Okay. So now what else can it do? So. You can move the dot by adjusting the position of the sensor. So if you want to drop it into that corner, just put it up on an angle, put it into that corner, put it up on... Okay, yeah, looks a lot like Scratch or a derivative thereof. Um, some sort of drag and drop programming, you know, grab loops, grab um, variables, etc., etc. So, cool. This is nice. So once you do um, some coding, you can switch between the equivalent in JavaScript and your um, block diagram coding. So you just drag and drop. But um, here you have the equivalent JavaScript for that same code. So once you've finished your um, code, you can download the hex file um, and then save it in, well, your downloads directory. And then you just drag and drop over to the, the micro bit device and it's supposed to run it. And it will change this thing into a heartbeat after it's done doing its blinky thing. small heart uh, alternating. Okay, so the uh, the microbit directory is actually a landing point for um, reinstalling the software. Once you put um, a new hex file in there, it will, um, I guess there must be a polling interval, it will grab that new hex file, load it, and um, restart the, the microbit with whatever the hex file has in it. And yeah, that's how you program it. Very nice. Okay, it's a Nordic chip. It's one of those chips that um, Alicia is always going on about uh, in her embedded FM podcast. Awesome. So now I get to play around with what um, actually goes into one of those. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like that a lot. Okay, it's yeah, Nordic. Nordic, Nordic chip. Um, I'm going to talk over top. Yeah, Laurie, sorry. Um, the Nordic um, 51822. Okay, 16. Yeah, you can read that there. Nice. Um, a nice little ARM processor, so I'll get a little bit of fun on or, and learning on how to use an ARM processor. So accelerometer, magnetometer, um, USB, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it's also got the uh, NXP Freescale, another M0, M0 Plus. Holy smokes! USB two on the go. Oh wow, yeah. So any any USB device. Yeah, nice. Okay. That is a fairly robust little piece of kit right there. I like it. I like it a lot. But if you really want to do anything with these, you're going to need a pin header breakout board, which is what this guy is. Uh, yes. So probably from that side. 
Yeah. And that is what all of this little goodness is for. Do, 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 do. And then you can, you have, you know, headers to jump her out from all of those pins. So, uh, yeah, that is, that is a very nicely thought out little, uh, little box. I have to say, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So, um, given that this thing has an IMU, I, I'm surprised that people haven't started trying to use it as a, uh, as a drone platform even, but yeah, um, uh, on whole, I like this box. It's a great collection of doodads to have fun with and dig deeper into and if you know you want to learn python or you want to do something yeah very happy with the box all in all told two thumbs up